ferrets. These are ferrets. Or to take a leaf from the army's book, cars scout, four by four, brackets, ferret, brackets off. This is a new batch being shaken up on Salisbury Plain. The job of the scout car is liaison and reconnaissance, usually bang up the front line, sniffing out danger. Armored against trouble, they weigh over four tons, but can make 50 miles an hour along the road, or wade unprepared through three foot of water. They are part of Britain's defense. About 2,000 ferrets are with the army from Britain to the Far East. three-seater with a gun on top is just about the world's most successful scout car ever and that's partly because it's tested tested and then tested again sometimes in quite interesting ways as a debt mold in North Germany which was the start from these headquarters of a British armored brigade of an unusual adventurous test of these machines and the men who run them Remy workshop, Jackson's ferret has been repainted after more than 4,000 miles of dust, heat and snow. And he and his driver are out on the town. At debt mold, the brigadier, before going out to the brigade exercise, watches the progress of both ferrets right up to the Berlin Wall. For both crews, this rest day is a sadder one taken in the bisected city watching other British troops at work this side of the inhuman wall which cut the city through in 1961 and still amputates families from their relations and friends. Wernerstrasse, the border of two worlds and called the Street of Crosses. They mark the spots where desperate men and women jumped to freedom and died in little crumpled heaps so close to it.
Along the Russian's own border, down a street split up its middle, the guards stare face to suspicious face through the barbed wire. The infantry team drive past the Brandenburg Gate, now behind the wall. And past the Russian war memorial inside West Berlin. And then back into the smart shopping world of the Kofirstendam. Dam. <laughs> 